So yes, this is real. This is the official Valve Mac OS port of Counter-Strike 2 being played on an Apple Silicon Mac right now. The game appears to run through Vulkan using Molten VK, and it's an Intel binary being run through Rosetta 2 on my N1 Max chip. And whilst performance isn't necessarily the best with plenty of shader cache stuttering, especially at the beginning, it still plays far better than trying to run the Windows version of CS2 through something like Crossover. And the very existence of this port proves that Valve always intended to release the Mac version of CS2, but decided not to at the very last minute. So if you didn't already know, Valve decided to cancel the Mac port of Counter-Strike 2, citing the low player count of the macOS community. However, if CS2 was released on Mac, it would have been one of the biggest games on the platform. To try and appease the Mac gamer user base, they've decided to offer refunds and to let Mac gamers play the original CSGO, which they now call the legacy version, which is only supported until January 2024. But what Valve didn't tell you is that just up until a few days ago, they have been developing a fully functional macOS port of CS2, which was discovered in older Steam Depot files by a user called Emma, who found that if you loaded up an old manifest of the Mac version of CS2, you could actually play an older build of the official macOS port. Now, unfortunately, this build is very limited, so you can try to engage in matchmaking, but it's gonna come up with an error message saying that the matchmaking servers use different class tables, whatever that means. It's probably from a mismatch between the client and the server version, which is probably only out by a few days. Everything else feels functional, including inventory, items, badges, etc. And I've only played this for a short time, but I have noticed some interesting bugs. For example, these guys are not holding any weapons. It's probably something to do with skins not loading correctly in this instance. And the game appears to use Molten VK. However, I couldn't get the metal HUD to actually show up. So I'm not 100% sure that all of these extensions are being invoked. It's still very possible that this is running OpenGL just like the original CSGO did on Mac. So it's clear to me now that basically this is a fully formed macOS port of Counter-Strike 2 and the question really is why didn't Valve release this version of the game? Almost all the work has already been done. They clearly had plans to do this, which is why they didn't announce the cancellation on the release of the Windows version of CS2. At the time, they were very non-committal. They're always saying that the CS2 is not available yet. Not saying it was officially canceled until just a couple of days ago. And really, I understand Valve's reasoning. To use up resources to support players who make up less than 1% of your customers is really a waste of time and money and doesn't really align with Valve's long-term strategy, which is basically to get as many games working on Windows version of Steam and also on SteamOS on the Steam Deck. And although most of the work has been done on this Mac port already, there's plenty of ongoing support that needs to be provided and bug fixes for the macOS version of this game that will need to be supported for the rest of its lifespan, which knowing the popularity of Counter-Strike 2 would probably mean more than a decade of Apple Silicon Mac support, and Valve have always been very wary of Apple arbitrarily changing some of its platform architecture and rules, for example, dropping 32-bit support. They might have thought that eventually, if Apple decided to drop Rosetta 2, which is very possible in the future, then this port of CS2 would also stop functioning as well, in the same way that previous games like Team Fortress 2, Left 4 Dead 2, Portal 2, etc. stopped working when 32-bit support was dropped on Apple hardware. So it's a shame that this port never got an official release, but it is something that you can try out yourself quite easily. So in the rest of this video, I'm gonna show you a tutorial on how to download this macOS Depot and get it running on Apple Silicon hardware. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to download the Windows version of Counter-Strike 2. So what I'm gonna do is to leave a link in the description for my crossover Counter-Strike 2 tutorial. So I suspect that if you're interested in this game, you might have followed this tutorial already, in which case you already have downloaded the Windows version of the game. So within crossover, just control click on Steam and then go to open C drive and you'll probably find that your games are kept within the Steam folder here under the Steam apps folder or you might have installed it in a different location just make sure to locate it and then once you've located the game basically what you want to do is to make a copy of this onto your computer. 
So I'm just going to paste this onto my desktop. So just be aware it's going to be called Counter-Strike Global Offensive, even though this is Counter-Strike 2. So just make a copy of that. While it's copying, what we're going to do is to download Depot Downloader. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for this GitHub page. And what we're going to do is to download the latest version of Depot Downloader. We want the macOS ARM64 version if we're using an Apple Silicon Mac. So just click on this and it's going to download into our downloads folder. So now that we've downloaded the Depot Downloader, we're going to double click and it's going to go ahead and extract here. And what we want to do is to open up a terminal window here. So we're going to make sure that the path bar is being shown so that we have this line below. And then we're going to control click on downloads and then click open in terminal. So that's going to open up a terminal window within the downloads folder. So in order to execute this script, we need to give ourselves permission to actually use the script. So we're going to use this command chmod plus x dot forward slash depot downloader. And then that's going to give us permission to launch depot downloader. So you can test this by typing in depot downloader. So if you have an issue here, we can also run this command to xattr dash cr and then dot forward slash depot downloader. We're going to test that out again. So now that can be launched. So we have all of the commands that we can run from here. So we're going to clear this. And then basically we're going to run this command depot downloader. The app is 730. The depot is 2347772. And the manifest is here. So I'll just show you the logic behind this. So the Mac port of Counter-Strike 2 is this ID number. And then the manifest number has been published by this user called Emma. And then this one is listed here, which I'll leave in the description. So the app number here is CSGO stroke CS2. The depot number is the macOS version and the manifest is the previous version of the macOS port. And then basically here, what we want to do is to type in our Steam username and password. So we have the flag here, dash username, then username, and then dash password, password. So just make sure to type in your full Steam username and password. So it's saying here, connecting to Steam, logging into our account, and we're going to be prompted with Steam mobile app. So make sure because you have two-factor authentication turned on, you need to go into your smartphone and then approve your login. So once that's been approved from your smartphone, then it's going to go ahead and and download the latest version of the depot. So this is not going to take that long. It's not that many files. It's not really the content files we're interested in. It's this OS X64, which is the Mac version of the game. So this is currently downloading. So that just took a few seconds. So we've got our depots here, and uh, you can see that this version here basically has this game folder, and then we have CSGO OS X64. And if we look here, this is the Mac port of Counter-Strike 2 application Intel. So this will be running through Rosetta 2. And basically what I want to do is we're going to open up a new finder window and I'm going to navigate to where we put the Windows version of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And basically what we want to do is to combine them together. So here we've got the game folder and I'm just going to maximize this. And uh, you know, the way that this works is you want to do it kind of piecemeal bit by bit. So here, for example, we're going to move the subfolder of OS X64 into the bin folder here. So that's the Mac version sitting alongside the Windows version. We're going to move the CST script into the game folder. And then within CSGO, we've got our own bin folder here, which we're going to merge. And then this has got an OS 64 bit version when the bin under CSGO folder, we've got this CSGO shader foz so basically this uh, depot that we just downloaded is now completely empty and now we can go ahead and run the cst.sh so from within the game folder of the windows version of csgo we're going to execute this script once again with the path bar right click open in terminal and then if we press ls we'll see all of the files here have been dot forward slash cs2.sh press return if you got that permission error go to xatt2.sr and then give ourselves permission for the cs2.sh script run it again if you don't have permission again then we also need to chmod plus x this script as well and then let's run the script here it's saying that the app itself doesn't have permission so we're going to go into the actual game bin os x64 game bin os x64 so what we need to do is give ourselves permission to run the sub folder of contents within the CS2 app. So control click on the CS2 app within the OSX folder, show package contents, contents, Mac OS CS2. So we're gonna, so I'm gonna double click on here, then we're gonna right click and then open this in terminal. And then what we wanna do is run the commands again, CS2, chmod plus x, dot forward slash CS2. And now that that's done, we can execute the script within the game folder again. 
So if you get any kind of error message, make sure that you're logged into your Mac version of your Steam and you're maintaining a login session on Mac. And what we're going to do is to launch CS2 again and CS2 is now running. So one thing to note is that the game can be quite stuttery. So I do recommend trying some different launch options. We've only really just begun experimenting with this. So there might be better launch options in the future. Make sure to check this out in the description if there are any updates. So in a way, it's really interesting to see that CS2 managed to work so well on the Apple Silicon Mac. And it's a shame to see that Valve basically decided to give up on all of this work that has already been done and to basically throw away the Mac port of the game. Anyway, I hope you have fun trying out this port on your Mac. Of course, if you want to run this game with the rest of the online world and play competitively, this is of course possible using the Windows version of the game running through Crossover. So if you want to find out how to do that, then make sure to watch the video in the description. Anyway, big thanks to Emma who helped discover this particular port. Also to Tim Kervis who helped me to install CS2 in the first place and teach me how to use Depot Downloader. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.